YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica if you're new here. Um, today I decided I was going to do a review of our curriculum that we've been using this year for homeschool. My daughter Kylie, she's eight years old, she's in third grade, so all of this is third grade curriculum. So I am going to start with her language arts. I so my first uh, piece of curriculum was the easy peasy all-in-one homeschool. Um, we did start the year with this. Um, my daughter last year was a struggling reader, so the beginning of this was really good, and then it started getting into um, um, what was the first story that we read it was Heidi, I think. Some um, one of those stories that was just really long, and it wasn't interesting to her, and that's. Um, with her being a struggling reader, if it wasn't interesting, she gave me a lot of grief to read it. So we kind of, we did this for a couple months and then we actually ended up um, putting it away and having her just read what she wanted. So most of this was just stories and then asking questions. So it was mainly kind of reading comprehension. So um, I put that away and we did, I did go ahead and order 180 days of reading. Um, so it's just, it's not as long, the, a lot of the stories aren't as long as what was in that book. Um, but it is reading comprehension. It had quite a few questions. At the beginning she was struggling a bit, but she's getting so much better at this and not getting as many wrong anymore. Um, so I feel like I like this book. Um, not sure if I'll get the next one next year or not. We kind of started this, I mean, a little late, so I've only been using it for a couple months. But as of right now, I think... I think I would probably repurchase this um, so because I do like it and I feel like it's helping her. Um, the other, we do have another reading comprehension but we haven't been doing it as often is the Abeka Read and Think Skills, Skill Sheets 3 for third grade. Um, this one is just again another little story and then it has some questions on the next page where she has to answer and she has to do it within I think four and a half minutes. She really likes the stories in here. She was doing pretty well with this. I would definitely order this one again. Definitely would order that. And then the last thing, this is more for um, reading fluency and which would help with comprehension, is the Victory Drill book. So this book I came across um, in a forum. I'm not sure if I've, I know I've tried to make a video before. I don't think I actually ever posted it, but I did talk about it then. But this is all about, so you have a list of words, short A sounds at the very, very beginning. You set a time limit. So at first we were doing um, read 45 words in a minute to just to see how she was doing. Um, she, she, she did pretty well with that 45 minutes, 45 words in a minute. Right now she's doing so much better than that. And I might need to up the words per minute um, to challenge her a bit. But all you do is you just go through the words, you read them. And if she gets the amount of words that you have set um, for in a minute, then you move on to the next page. And it just um, goes through, I think we had short A's, you have short O's, and then you review short A's and O's, and then they have some sentences. So um, she's been doing really well with this. I like that it, she's picking up her speed with reading with this, and um, with speed comes the comprehension. So I do... I highly recommend this book. I really, really do like it for our family. Um, and I would, I'm going to be definitely using this um, over the years with my youngest one too. And again, what's nice with this, you set a limit, you go through the whole book, and then you can go through the book again with um, maybe like try and get 80 words per minute or something like that. So this is nice and adaptable. So that is all I have for reading. Um, again, she picks out books that she likes from the library and we read those and then she explains to me what um, those books are about. So that is reading. Next we have spelling. We decided to go with Spelling You See this year. We just finished book one and so we're moving on to book two now. I do like this curriculum. My daughter didn't really like it at the beginning um, because the test at the end of the week she kept um, getting lots of words wrong and so we have started to pick out certain words when she, there is a word that she's having or that I feel like she might struggle with we actually just practice it a bit throughout the week and then she does she's doing a lot better with this she's still getting a couple wrong here and there but she's doing so much better 
And so I like that curriculum. Will I continue it next year? Um, as of right now, I think I will. I'm gonna do IEW in a different video. So, cause I wanna keep these videos a little short and to the point. So I, we are doing IEW for grammar and writing. I'm going to do a language arts part two. So this will be part one and then I'll have part two for our IEW part. So just the little odds and ends pieces. We are practicing cursive this year. So I just have little, um, little books, cursive writing, cursive writing practice, wacky facts. So this one, she just writes little, she just copies little wacky facts. And then at the end of the year, if she wants, she can cut them out. There's a little line here. She can cut them out and make a little booklet of all of them. Um, yeah, see like that. So that's kind of cute. And then I picked up this one. We've been going back and forth between the two um, just to practice the cursive. And then for typing, we are doing Mavis Beacon Kids. What is it? Keyboarding Kids. So um, we were doing a free program online. Um, I can't remember the website. If I remember, I'll write it down below. Uh, but... It wasn't interesting. It was just kind of boring. It was mainly, it was, it's made for just anybody and everybody. So it's not entertaining for a kid. So this one's fun because it's got, it's cartoonish and very entertaining for a child. So that is it on that part for language arts. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and make part two. So, um, stay tuned. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.